When a tax man gets political, you know your democracy is being degraded. It's happening now at the IRS. Just before he left the job, IRS chief John Koskinen started sending out letters to small businesses, imposing fines, big fines, around $2,000 per employee of small businesses. Thousands of companies will receive these dunning letters. What did they do wrong? They didn't comply with the complexities of Obamacare rules. Now, the fines were not imposed when Mr. Obama was in office. Oh, no. They knew it would be wildly unpopular. But they are being imposed now. It's a parting shot at the Trump administration. The fines could total over $200 billion over the next 10 years. Of course, this is not the first time the IRS has engaged in blatantly political activity. Who could forget the targeting of conservative groups before the 2012 election? The Obama team had used the machinery of government to beat up on its political opponents. That is banana republic stuff. The IRS is not supposed to be political, but it now is. Just another sign the left will bend every institution to enforce its political will. A generation ago, President Nixon tried to get the IRS to investigate his political opponents. The IRS refused. That was then. John Koskinen is now. The second hour of Varney and Company is about to begin.